I'm Jenny Clavel with National Community Church, and today's verse of the day is Matthew 20, 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. As Christ followers, we're called to live as Jesus did. He came to serve and to give his life in exchange for ours. So what does that mean for us as we pursue a life that reflects Jesus while standing in the tension of today's narrative that often asks, what's in it for me? The picture here of Jesus willingly exchanging his life as a ransom in exchange for ours is an extremely foreign concept. Because not only is Jesus willing to give his life in exchange for ours, but in Titus it says that Christ gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not sure how many people I would be willing to give my life for. I mean, I, I can count it on one hand because it's my family. No offense to you. But here we read that Jesus gave his life as a ransom for many. It's been a rough few years. We've been isolated by a pandemic. We've lost loved ones. We're trying to understand and listen to each other in the midst of racial and political unrest. And most of us are just trying to do the right thing. Many of us, and this includes me, struggle with imposter syndrome, meaning yes, we believe that Christ gave himself as a ransom for many. We just have a really hard time believing that we or I am in, included in the many. And the dangerous part of this lie from the enemy is that it takes us out of commission in reflecting the same type of selfless love to the world, to the other. So today, it's not about what's in it for me. It's not about whether I believe I'm a part of the many or not. It's about a savior that ransomed himself for us so that we can live a full life in freedom. So let's share that freedom with someone else today.